Thank you for joining me. My name is Grandmaster Roger Bruce. I'm an ACB black belt, a former middleweight champion of the world in full contact karate, and the owner of WCRB Karate. I have trained over 500 students to the level of black belt. With a little hard work and determination, you too can become one of them. Now today, we're going to be continuing on our series of the white belt or beginner pattern. So far, we've done the reverse punch. And it's called the reverse punch because the fist actually turns over and changes sides on impact. So it reverses the fist. We've done the rising block. We've done the middle block. We've done the front stance. And then we've done the, the back stance. Now, these, these blocks match the stance. So the rising block is done with the front stance. The middle block is done with the back stance. Originally, martial arts was invented as a form of exercise because the Buddhist monks who were in the midst of the, of the Shaolin uh, jungle at the temple, they were doing what monks do, which is they were meditating and they were praying, and they did almost no exercise at all. This person from India walked into China and he taught them exercises by using the movements of wild animals, the tiger, the leopard, the mythical animal, which is the dragon, the snake, and then the water bird, which is the crane. So as we do our karate movements, don't be surprised if we do a technique that resembles a movement of an animal. So, after they moved along and, this, and, and were under, they began to understand that these movements improved their blood flow, improved their energy levels, uh, gave them more strength and endurance, and helped them to be able to better sleep at night, they then recognized their usefulness in personal safety. As they would move their, their crops to the market, they were constantly being attacked by, by uh, these roaming thieves. These people would jump out from behind things and they would attack them. They then used these techniques to protect themselves. The down block is exactly what it says. You're taking your forearm and you are snapping in a downward action like this. Now, in order for the martial arts to work, the ancients, they did not know physics. They didn't know kind of this force is equal to mass times acceleration. They didn't know all those concepts. What they did know was a simple push and pull concept. Faster I pull this hand, faster and harder so the non-impact hand is going to be the low hand. That is the power source in all of your blocks. The retracting hand, the hand that pulls in, that is the power source in all of your blocks. Middle block, down block, rising block, etc. On the down block, it takes the most coordination. Remember, martial arts secretly improves skills that are sought after. Coordination is a very, very sought after skill. So they're sought after all over. Like coaching. Let's say you're trying to get on a basketball team or you're trying to get on a football team or a lacrosse team. Coaches will give you a test to get on the team. They're testing your strength, they're testing your speed. They also test your coordination. Your coordination is the ability to use two or more parts of your body equally as well at the same time. Now, that skill is useful in fighting and allowing you to be able to protect yourself against two, three, and four people at the same time, but it is also used to improve your coordination, which will help you be able to get on basketball teams and coach teams as fast as you go. Okay, so how do you do a down block? On the rising block, start by making an X like this. We pull one hand in, we push one hand out. On the middle block, we start by putting the blocking hand underneath the pulling hand. We go over and out. Now, 
on the down block, the blocking hand is going to go by the ear, and the non-blocking hand is going to go under the armpit. Now, the non-blocking hand pulls. If you notice that my palm is by my ear, it spins out so that the palm is down, and my arm is fully extended. That is a down block. I stop the block on the outskirts of the frame of my body. Don't exceed the frame of your body, and don't stay in front of your body like this. Stop just at the outskirts of the frame of your body. That is the down block. Okay, so we're going to learn it. I'm going to ask my assistant of the day, young Madison, to come in. And again, we're assuming that you've done your preparatory warm-up. You've done your push-ups, your sit-ups, your stretches. And let's take a look at this block. So, we start in our ready position. You're going to take your right hand, pull your right hand by your left ear. Okay? So your right hand is going to go to your left ear, like this. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it a little bit so you can follow along with us. Your right hand is going to be our left. That gives you a backwards view. And we're here. You're going to take your left hand and put it underneath your armpit. Now, to break it down and make it easier, pull your left hand in and fling your right hand down. That's a down block. Remember, excuse me, make sure it stays inside the frame of your body. Bring the hand up, pull the hand across the body. Now, at the same time, push and pull. Bring it up. Push and pull, bring it up, 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 push and pull, bring it up. Okay. Now because these techniques are coordination demanding, we're going to work the, the, the different arms at different times. So now we're going to switch. Put your right hand or your left hand up, that's going to be our right hand, and your right hand under. Ready? Now pull your right hand to the side. Bring your left hand down. Bring them, put them in place. Fling them down. 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 Put them in place. Great job. Now you'll notice, as I teach, what we, the way I teach is we do everything relatively slow at first and we break it down into bite-sized understandable components, which means bring your hand up, put your hand over, bring your hand over, put your hand down. That way your body understands what you're telling you to do. Then we move slowly to increase speed. Okay? So, now you're going to go down and up. Down and up. Down. Now, when I say go, bring it down, please. Bring it down. When I say go, go up and down with a loud yell. Ready? Go. I go.
get involved in our coordination. We're going to use our legs and our arms. So from here, go to your June B position for me. Now remember, June B, separating your feet, shoulder width, and your hands are down in front of you, elbows are flexed, fists are almost touching. Remember that up and down process. I want you to do that as you step back into a strong stance. Remember, the faster you move, the more you bring stress on that body and actually exert it. And therefore, we are exercising. Okay? So when I say go, hiya! Move quickly. Ready? Go! Come up. Same side. Go! Come up. Punch, 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 punch,
Rising block first, middle block second, down block third. Remember, try not to stop because you're building your endurance and we are improving our, our health. Ready? Go! Now she's doing the rising block as quickly as she can. She wants to get at an explosive defensive speed. saying for fun. I mean it. Hit the subscribe button.